Welcome to this edition of the Michigan Golfer. Michigan golf just keeps getting better and better as each year we have new courses opening in the state. In this edition, we're going to look at three new outstanding golf courses in the state of Michigan. The first course, the Tribute, designed by Rick Robbins and Gary Cope, is part of the Otsego Club in Gaylord, Michigan. Tullymore, designed by relatively newcomer Jim Eng, is part of the Canadian Lakes in Stanwood. Then after the break, we're going to come back and look at a new course in Ludington, Michigan, the Hemlock Course. But first, let's join Scott Chesley at the Tribute of the Otsego Club in Gaylord. Hi, I'm Scott Chesley here at the Otsego Club. We're standing here today on the third tee of the Tribute Golf Course. We're going to give you a little bit of a tour today of the holes here on the Tribute. Even though it's fall weather today, we'd like to have you have a chance to see what this golf course is really all about. From the elevation changes here that Gary Koch and Rick Robbins, the designers of this golf course, really took into account all of the features of the natural land that was here to begin with. This hole stands about 410 yards from the blue tees and about 380 yards from the white tees. It's a dramatic golf hole and you'll really enjoy it if you get a chance to play. If there is a signature hole on this golf course, this is probably one of them. This is the seventh hole on the Tribute. And we're standing near the green here. This is a long par five with a double dog leg, very mature hardwood trees on both sides of the fairway. And many golfers might be tempted to go for this green in two. But the challenge comes right here. If you hit a good drive and a very good second shot, you're going to be about 100 yards out. Those of you who go for it in two are going to compete with the pond. And so on this golf hole, really laying up is the best bet. We're going to the back nine now. We're standing on the 10th tee of the Tribute. And uh, this is a golf hole that Rick Robbins and Gary Koch really emphasize bunkering. And what's nice about this is this hole is a great start to the back nine. It's a generous landing area. The bunkering is there not only for aesthetics, but uh, it's also there to help out in case you go a little bit too far to the left. There's a pretty heavy ravine down there on the left-hand side. So uh, this golf hole takes a, a shot to the right-hand side, and then you've got an easy approach into the green here on number 10. Well, we're going to wrap up our tour today here on the 18th hole of the Tribute. We're standing on the back tees at about 399 yards and you can see a little bit of snow in the background here and of course we are a four season resort here in Gaylord, Michigan so it's only appropriate we have a little bit of white stuff for you so uh, but as you take a look at this a nice easy par four to finish up beautiful golf hole and uh, we hope you come back uh, with us in the spring join us for our 2002 grand opening here at the Tribute so thanks a lot for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you here at the Otsego Club next year. We're here at Tullymore today with uh, Kevin O'Brien, the director of golf, and Jim Eng, the golf course designer of this incredibly beautiful facility. We are here today on a media event, a number of people from uh, various areas of the media to look the course over, but I can tell just standing here on this fairway that this is an incredible uh, operation. First, let me uh, introduce you to Kevin O'Brien. Yep. Good afternoon. Welcome to Tullymore Golf Club. We're honored to have you here today. We are opening up a special project today and brought the media in to see it. Tullymore is uh, truly unique, and Jim Ng, our golf course architect, has done a wonderful job here. Some things just about the golf course. Uh, we started moving dirt September 5th, 1999, exactly two years from today, and the condition of the golf course is exceptional, what, how it's grown in. Some things about the golf course itself, um, you'll see as, as they're shooting around the golf course that is unique bunkering that Jim does. The mounting of it, it just it's beautiful. It's so artistic looking. Thanks, Scott and Kevin, for those tours of these exciting new courses. After the break, we're going to visit with John Kennedy, owner of the new Hemlock course in Ludington, Michigan, a course designed by noted Michigan architect Ray Hearn. The Michigan Golfer Television Show is brought to you by Bay Mills Casino and Resort, featuring the award-winning Wild Bluff Golf Course. Golf Connects, the convenient connection to all your favorite golf courses. And... North Carolina Pinehurst area, the world's third greatest golf destination. Uh, my name is John Kennedy. I'm the uh, golf course superintendent and the general manager at the uh, Hemlock Golf Club in Ludington. Uh, the course was constructed last fall. We uh, intend to open it uh, early June. Uh, it was designed by Raymond Hearn. Uh, 
The golf course has a variety of uh, native. Uh, we have wetlands. We have uh, the course was constructed through a forest, so we have woods. And then, as you can see in the background, we have native sand dunes that uh, Mr. Hearn designed around and through. Uh, so we have a very unique golf course that uh, is going to test all levels of skills. We have five sets of tees. Uh, they range from 7,030 yards to 49, uh, down to 4,900. So, so we can accommodate any caliber of golfer from the uh, pros to the beginners. And uh, we expect that uh, people come here are going to have a very unique experience. And uh, Ludington will welcome any visitors that want to come up and see us. This hole that we're presently standing on is our 13th hole. It uh, is a 193-yard par 3. It has uh, the Raymond Hearn signature bunkers. Uh, there's five bunkers on this hole. It also happens to be the largest green on the golf course at a little over 10,000 square feet has about 50 feet of elevation change between the tee and the green, and uh, this probably will be one of our signature holes. I'm sure there are many unique features to uh, your location, but one I think many people who watch our show, not only in the state of Michigan but in other states, uh, is that the ferry comes in. The Ludington is the side of the ferry coming over, so when people in Wisconsin and other states are thinking about coming to Michigan to play golf, uh, it can be just to ride across the ferry and uh, and go to the Hemlock Golf Club. Yeah, we've uh, we've actually talked with the ferry about doing some kind of golf packages uh, across Lake Michigan with uh, some of the courses uh, in Kohler and uh, some of the other places over there. And uh, everybody's very interested. Nobody's ever tried it, and uh, we're in a very unique position where our golf course is that we might be able to do that. So. Well, that's great. Thanks, John. Thank you very much. Hemlock Golf Club, Ludington, Michigan. Give it a try. Open this June 2002. The Tribute, Tullamore, and the Hemlock Club. Three exciting new golf courses in the state of Michigan that you'll be sure and want to put on your golf plans for this season. Thank you for watching this edition of the Michigan Golfer.